Welcome back to the channel, guys. As always, my name is Tony. This is my channel, TMOGO116, where I show you everything that I do to my Jeep. Let's see what we're doing today. So I got the Jeep all washed, soft top is removed, half doors are on, we're ready. Jeep Beach is just two days away. It's already started, but I'm heading up Friday. I'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I posted up on social media on, under my Instagram account, TMOGO116, and I told everybody who's gonna be there, you know, look for me, you'll see my green Jeep, I'll be around. I received a message back from a company called Dirty Dog 4x4. They asked me if I was interested in their product and if I would like to have my Jeep featured on the infield at Daytona Speedway. It was a no-brainer, guys. I said yes, of course. So they just mailed me the three-piece cargo area netting kit in the sand color. It should match my new soft top pretty well. Let's see how to put it together. So that was the quick unboxing. We got some kind of straps or buckles. Ooh, installation instructions, we're gonna need those. Got some more, oh, it looks like these are the clips that might hold it tight, I guess. And this looks like some kind of crossbar. I'm guessing that this goes to the stock soft top location. Not sure, we'll figure it out. Okay, so they have some pretty straightforward Instructions, they got a really large font. I guess a lot of people didn't get it. Um, doesn't look too intense. I'll go over everything, just reading through, seeing it also has a three year warranty, which is pretty awesome. Dirty Dog 4x4, you guys did good. Let's so put it together. I skipped ahead a little bit and I saw that this crossbar goes along the whole bottom. And then these are the only two pieces that you're gonna have to buy separate. Looks like everything else comes with it. If you don't have a soft top already, you're gonna need these little clips to hold this thing in place. If not, I guess you could just leave it back there, but I would recommend getting them if you don't have them. Another thing I gotta say, not just because they sent this to me, but I mean, actual quality wise, I don't know if you guys, if the camera can pick it up. These are like double, triple stitched and riveted at every joint. Like, and I gave him a good tug. I wanted to see, like, is this thing gonna flap in the wind and make a lot of noise? Is it gonna rip on me? It's really not going anywhere. I'm putting a lot of force on it. Like, I mean, you can see it there. I'm bending that bar down. Not going anywhere. I'm really happy with the, the quality of this. All right, so let's get started. It's saying that we have to start by putting those straps on the sides here that are gonna grab this. So we'll start doing that. So the first step, where you have to attach these straps with this nut and bolt to the back of the tub here. I had a factory hardtop originally, so I used my quick disconnects for the hardtop. I just bolted it right there. That should be step one. That's one thing that if you guys do have a hardtop, it looks like you could reuse the factory bolt or use the longer one that they provided to you. But I just used my quick disconnect. It's not going anywhere. It, and it actually with the washer underneath it here, I can move it around without scratching the paint or anything like that. So, still skipping ahead. You gotta do this on both sides, obviously. Everything matches. And you gotta come over here. It's a little dark, sorry. Right where the door striker is, you peel back this carpeting. And there's already an existing bolt that comes through that holds that striker in place. All you do is loop, let me see if I can get an angle on this, it's really hard to see, oh there you go, but you loop this on and it has a washer and a nut and it bolts down the same way. Now this is where the side window ones are going to be strapped onto, moving right along. It's a 13 millimeter by the way on both of those, You're, that is the bottom. This is the top, obviously. You're going to start from the bottom, come up through the top. Sorry, it's hard to do it with one hand. Come up through this hole, over and back through there. Let me show you.
right, so quick update. I put all of these straps on here on the roll bar. What I'm going to do with the excess is I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to try to tuck it underneath these just to make it nice and neat. But I'm going to do that at the end once I get it all set in place. So these are the six that you're going to have to do on there. The one on the body right here is going to clip to the bottom one. And what I did, I have the netting hanging. I started putting on this end of the clip as well. So now we can put it on and try to start clipping it together, making it look whole again. So last night the camera died filming, so I didn't realize and continued on. Luckily though, after you install that loop on this end and bolt it on and put this on, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. So this is the finished product. Keeps everything locked in secure. When you're gonna get access to the back, that's what these buckles are for. You would unclip all of them. This moves right out of the way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it's a pretty much awesome accent color too. Kind of matches all the tan. Heading out to Jeep Beach, you'll be able to see it there. I'll take more pictures of it on the beach and at the infield. I hope you guys liked the video. As always, guys, hit that like button, smash the, the comments, let me know what you think. As far as flapping goes, I did drive it a little bit. There's no noise coming from it. Oh, and there's two more straps that go around the soundboard on top. As you can see, no problems fitting it with the Trek Top NX Plus. It fits right underneath. The windows will still fit in place. We can leave it there if we want, take it off. Won't affect your hard top or any of the soft top stuff. Dirty Dog 4x4. Check them out, guys. As always, see you next time.